Hey, April fans, this is Todd. So, today my goal is to start making this 2000X Skeletor and make it a classics version. So, this is what I'm trying to make. And so, of course, you got to start with some Skeletor figure. So, this is the Skeletor figure I'm going to start with. Um, the feet are completely different between these two. So, we got to change out the feet. The, cat, the um, shin guards are different, the, the wrists are different. And the uh, armor is different. And of course the head's different. So we got a long ways to go to get from one to the other. So let's talk about parts and then we'll go from there. So first thing is I ordered some uh, new feet on eBay. And they kind of match the feet of this style right here. Now I could have probably cut these feet off and altered them and sanded them and made an indent to make the, th but it's like, it's just easier to buy them online. And so I did. You could also have used um, like the mutant's feet and altered them a little bit and painted them blue, which I did think about doing. So we got the feet. Now let's work our way up to the shins. So when it comes to shins, there's lots of different options. And uh, at one time I was gonna go with these legs right here for the shins. So I'm gonna use other parts of this figure already. But in retrospect, uh, I was thinking these ones are pretty 2000 X's, but they're just so green. I know I could paint them purple. I started thinking, you know, it'd be kind of cool to go with something like this. Now these ones normally belong to uh, um, that character that's furry. I'm trying to think of his name now. Uh, does it count? Oh, Lord, oh, Chief. I don't know his name off the top of my head. Anyway, he's uh, one of the, the Masters fringe characters, 2000X. And it has a purple stripe already. So I was thinking two ways I can go. One, I can keep them gold, which is kind of cool. Or I could paint like a clear gold or a clear purple over the top of it. So it still has the sheen of the gold. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. But there we go. So we got the feet. We got the shins. Now, next is the loincloth. Is there different? So I'm going to actually take the loincloth from this figure right here to use. But the problem is it's going to be way too small for that waist. Now, if I try to stuff this loincloth over that one, like you've seen me do in the past, we'll end up with uh, this bump being in the way. So I have this secondary loincloth right here I'm going to use. So I'm going to switch out Skeletor's loincloth and put this one in its place and then put this one over it and stretch it over the top of it. So there we go. Next is the armor. Now, I could try to stretch this armor over the top of Skeletor. Um, but it just is such a huge difference in size. You can see that it just looks ridiculous. Let's go ahead and try it so you can see how it looks. But then when you go to try to strap the back up, it's just even tighter than He-Man's armor is to 2000X, which you can kind of make work. But because the Skeletor body is so much skinnier on the 2000X, by the time you get this on and stretch into place, it's just way too small. You can kind of see how small the symbols are on there it just starts to look and it starts it also splits across the top when you start doing this so you end up with it split across the top and it's just stretched to ridiculousness to make it fit on on there correctly and it also sits crooked because uh if you take a look um the 2000 x skeletor body is actually crooked and the armor is made to fit that way with its crookedness so even if you were to get it to fit on there it would still look crooked and so we're not going to use this armor which would be cool if we could just find this armor in a bigger size, but they don't actually make this armor in a bigger size, but they do have one very close. And that is the armor off of him. It's a very close 2000X. It's got the same paint patterns. It's got the black, it's got the um, silver, it's got the red dot in the middle. So that's the armor we're gonna use for our 2000X Skeletor. So we're going to use him as well. Now for the um, forearms. So the forearms, it's going to be kind of tricky, is I'm going to actually still use these forearms right here. But I'm going to cut these off, slice the arm right there, drum out the center, heat them to a superheated state, and then stretch them out with my tool and then slide them on over the top. And that will give us the forearms we want to match the 2000X. We'll still have the fins on the back because the forearms are quite a bit shorter than that and it should just fit about right about there it will look really cool once it's done 
So that will be the forearms. And the last thing we have to do is the head. Now to do the head correctly, I figured this head was probably the closest to the 2000X head. So you take a look at that, and that's probably the closest head, but it doesn't have a hood. So I was gonna try some various hoods. And the fir first hood that I thought about trying was the one from the, um, from the um, laser light He-Man hoods, but it was just so big and bulky, it just looked kind of crazy. And then I realized this guy has a nice hood, just the wrong color. So I'm gonna paint this hood purple, and then of course we'll use that hood um, on top of this head. So I'll have to pull this off. Now it's just the face on the hood, so I have to pull the face out, dremel it out all around there, so the skull will fit on there, and the skull will actually be what's keeping the head in place. And then we'll just put this hood over the top of that skull, and then we'll have a nice 2000X hood that it looks very similar to the 2000X hood. It's just the wrong color. I think that'll be great, and that will help match it up. And then I'll have my 2000X head. So those are all the parts I'm gonna use and how it's gonna to go together once we're all done. And I think that's it. Okay, if you guys see other parts that I'm missing, let me know. Um, I am gonna use uh, Kildor's cape as well on him. because I wanna put a cape on him. And then of course I'll use this old 2000X staff for his staff. You don't need to recreate that. And that's it. And in case things go wrong, I got spare parts. So in case things go wrong and I break some of these wrist cuffs, I got this figure here for spare parts for his loincloth or his uh, wrist cuffs. So if things go wrong, I do have this figure. Hey! And we're going to use his parts if we need to. So let's go ahead and drop this hood into some hot water. It should take a few minutes. And the goal is to get this head to uh, eventually fit on that hood. Because our goal is to make it look similar to this hood right here. You can see it floating in there. And our goal is to get that face out of that head. And while it's really hot, we will just stab the scissors right in below his chin right there. And look at that, it just cuts right in. We'll just bring that right around town. And when it's hot like this, it's really easy to cut through this rubber. So make sure you just keep heating it up as you go along. So you don't want to hurt yourself. If it gets too hard to cut, that's when injuries happen. So you want to be careful. It's a little cutting on the forehead up here, and it should come right out. Ta -da. And here is my hood. Almost free. Now it's a little more sanding around the hood. And then we'll have it all ready to go. So let's go ahead and get our Dremel tool ready. Now I have some different bits here I like to use. I have this bit right here, which is a great bit to use. And there we go. And I also have a nice little smaller bit to use as well. So I'll probably use these two bits in conjunction as I use this. These two bits. Anyway. feel that hood's getting pretty thin, so let's clean out all the extra debris out of there. Soak it in the hot water again to get it soft and pliable, and we'll try putting that head in again. I'm 
much better fit. So let's start with the darkest purple of the two. This one's a little darker. Shake it up, put a splotch in there. And I'm always afraid to use just black because a lot of times black will just uh, wash the color out. So you have to be careful about using too much black. But in this case, because I have to get so dark so quick, I am going to use a little bit of black. Let's go ahead and mix this up. Take a little bit of black, put it in my purple. Yeah, see, it just turned it so gray. It's the hardest part about using black is it just sucks the color right out of your color. Now I got kind of a not too punchy purple. So let's go ahead and add a little navy blue to it. Try to darken it up a little bit. Now because I added blue, I have to add at least one drop of red in order to uh, offset that blueness. Let's go ahead and mix that up. I can see we're still not that close, but let's just try a little bit on here. I want to do it on the inside of the armor so I don't uh, lose the spot where I'm at. Actually, you know what? That's not too bad. Let's wait a few minutes while it dries, and I'll be right back while that's drying. While you're waiting for paint to dry so you don't lose your mixture, cover it up with another cup. I'm going to go wash my brush, and we'll, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's take a look and see how that paint looks. And... It does look like the same color. It's just it's just not shiny. I think once I add a clear coat to it, it should look pretty good. So let's go ahead and paint that hood up. Now, because the hood's large, I want to use a, a broad brush on this. So I got a broad, broad brush right here. And you always want to use uh, lots and lots of thin coats. So this is probably going to take, I'm guessing, probably four or five coats at least. Slide his head in from the front. That seems to be the trick. Let's stick his head on. And there we go. There's my 2000X head ready for the rest of the body to be completed. So um, here's the cool feet that I got off eBay. So first thing, let's drop these into the hot water and let them sit. Now normally this takes pretty easy to do when it's hot, you just pull this from the front. There you go. And again, let me show you a little closer. So here's our boot right here. Just pull from the front and it pops right off. this one that one worked pretty good sure that you have the bump on the correct side so this is not the right way 
this one, the bump goes on the inside of the leg, and this just should pop right in place. And there we go. There's my 2000X Skeletor leg ready to go. I know it's not an exact match, but I decided to go with the gold, just something different. Kind of cool, and I could have put the purple ink on here, but I thought, you know what? I think the gold will look cool, so... There we go. Now I got both legs done. All right. We're going to work on the cuffs for our 2000X Skeletor. And the goal is to get these cuffs on these arms. So, first thing we have to do is uh, heat up the Skeletor's uh, arms. There we go. Stick them in the hot water. And while we're at it, let's get these ones ready too. So let's pull the hands off. It does feel very rubbery and soft. That's what we're looking for. See how pliable this is now? So now that's pliable, we'll just stick that arm right in there. Line it all up and chop it right off. All right, we got one. And we have two. There we go. The Skeletor definitely needs some help. Let's go ahead and get this started. Water is getting too cold. All right, right back with some fresh hot water. All right, I got some more hot water. <clears throat> Let's try this one more time. And this time I'll put the hand on too. And I think maybe the cuff's going to go over the back of the wrist a little bit right here on the hand. And that should be fine. Something different. And maybe it's supposed to be that way on the figure in the first place. Maybe that's why the angle's not quite right. So let's straighten this out. Pop that hand in. Good shot. Now we know our goal is not to get it all the way up on there, just almost. Pop that hand on there. And we'll call that a win. Hooray. All right, Hero fans, now it's on to swapping the loincloth. So the wrist cuffs are done, the head's done, the legs are done. Now the loincloth. So we need to get this loincloth from the 2000X figure onto this figure here. So, first thing, I got some heated water. I'm gonna take this loincloth off. And to get this one off, you have to destroy the figure. So here's what you do. You grab your figure in the middle, just like this, and you just snap them. And there it is. 
that's the way you get that loincloth off. I know this poor Skeletor has gone through so to free that loincloth. And just like with the wrist cuffs, you want it as smooth as possible on the inside. That looks pretty good. There we go. Now we got our Skeletor built, if you will. Now, if I was just to put this, so the first you want to do is just kind of pull around a little bit. And this will kind of loosen it as you take it around. After you make sure it's loosened all the way around, you want to rotate the waist so that it's in the front and you're looking for an opening right inside there if you can see that or not and you're going to stick your screwdriver right in there before we start let's make sure it's super hot and just put our screwdriver right there and start working around Now it may start to cool on you, and this does happen quite often when I'm doing this. Just stick it back in the water, get it hot again. You don't want to force stretch this, otherwise you can't reuse it on another action figure. So you want to keep everything nice and toasty warm. All right. Stick it on at that point and take your screwdriver and just pull it out and line up that flange. And again, make sure it doesn't cool on you because if it does, you have to reheat it. The tricky part is to get that flange to unbend. So a lot of times it will take and bend towards the top and then you'll have this bent area. All right, looks like Skeletor has his underpants on, ready to go. There we go. And it's got a long ways to stretch, so just be patient. Keep reheating it, work it slow. You may have to take it off and on a couple times. So always reminds me of trying to dress my daughter's Polly Pockets when she was little. Those thin little rubber clothes just sometimes just did not work very well. There we go. Hooray. Everything lines up. We got his loincloth on. And we'll actually assemble all the rest of the pieces to finish our 2000X skill. First thing is let's get these parts heated. I probably should have been doing that already, but, and let's stick on the armor. Pop his head back on there. Much better. I don't have that black around there. Oops, I forgot his cape. Stick his cape on there. Now I'll pop his head back on. Look at that. All right, he's got his cape, he has his head. All that's left now is his legs and his accessories. So let's take his legs out of here. This should be nice and toasty warm by now. And remember, the inside muscle goes on the inside of the leg right here. Just pop 
pop that into place. There we go. All right. Let's stick in his staff. Eternia will be mine. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Hey, Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So, as you know, I was working on this 2000X Skeletor for some time, and I finally have put the finishing touches on him. So I went and got a new head. I got it from uh, Plastic Curves. And the cool thing about this head is, before I painted it, it was uh, clear orange. So I left a small little back spot in the back of his head unpainted and left the eyes on his eyes light up. So that is the cool feature on this Skeletor is you can see light through his eyes. So if I aim this at the, the light in the ceiling or something else, so that it's not so bright in here, you can actually see his lights, eyes light. So how cool is that? So that was the new feature. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Plastic Curves, for the cool 2000X Skeletor head. And you can see I painted it with uh, first green, and then I added a... Uh, um, yellow and then white and then did a, a slight black wash on it and then of course made sure the eyes did not get painted so we can do that cool 2000 x effect of his eyes glowing you did this to me randor oh well anyway so also um i made the head so that is easily removable so i put an o-ring in there and i uh grinded it out a little bit so the o-ring will fit so it'll easily be popped on and off also had the black balloon in there as you guys have seen before trim that down so it doesn't stick up so high and let's see what else did i do oh i uh blued the feet a little more so they match the skin better so it's closer to his actual color so i think now he is ready to give the 2000x skeletor havoc staff and uh um, double sword that came from the weapons pack. So he'll have all those. And I also did some changes on the armor. I swapped it out and painted this one. I thought it matched better with all the other coloring. Just because uh, the other one was just too dark purple. It did not match the belt very well. So I wanted to go with something that matched better. So I decided just to paint to match. All right. So there he is. And uh, let me know what you think, you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, I will see you the next time I make a video. Mm -hmm.